that you want to understand is the connection between you know the rectangular coordinates which are like a left right up down kind of like an etch-a-sketch sort of way of uh, locating a point and the polar way of locating a point which is this circular way of locating a point you've got the radius and then you've got the angle uh, to get to this particular point so you can see from this diagram that x y and r are connected together by this equation x squared plus y squared equals r squared and that's just the Pythagorean theorem you're familiar with that already you can take the square root of both sides and you can write r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared we're going to be using all of these connections to translate the rectangular equations into polar form so another uh, connection here you want to recognize is that the tangent of theta equals y over x okay so tangent of theta equals y over x and if you take the tangent inverse of both sides you get theta equals tangent inverse of y over x also the cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse so let's just write that here so cosine theta equals x over r and if you multiply both sides by r you can see that x is going to equal r cosine theta sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse so sine of theta equals y over r and if we multiply both sides by r you can see that y is equal to r sine theta so we're going to be using all these connections here to translate from rectangular to polar so example number one we've got x squared plus y squared equals nine if we go to this equation here you can see x squared plus y squared equals r squared so let's go ahead and replace x squared plus y squared with r squared okay you can see r squared equals nine and if we take the square root of both sides we get r equals three now it should make sense to you that you know when you're in polar form when you're looking at a circle with radius three that's this outer one here that I've just drawn but this is also the equation of a circle it's just that it's in rectangular form remember x squared plus y squared equals the radius squared okay but this is a simpler way of writing it when you use polar coordinates so our goal is to get rid of the x's and y's and get everything in terms of r's and thetas okay so let's look at example number two so here we have y equals five and from our equations over here you can see that y is equal to r times the sine of theta so let's go ahead and do that replacement r sine theta equals five and you know how when you normally write equations of lines you say y equals blank right well in polar form if possible you try to get that r value by itself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide both sides by sine of theta to get r by itself and we have r equals five divided by the sine of theta but we know that the reciprocal of sine is cosecant so this is really going to be five cosecant theta and this is just another way of representing the horizontal line y equals five but in terms of the radius and the angle okay so that's the polar form okay example number three we've got y equals x and so here what you want to do is you want to either do the replacement uh, x equals r cosine and y equals r sine theta let's go ahead and do that so r sine theta equals r cosine theta and then you can see if you divide both sides by r those cancel out and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide both sides by cosine theta okay both sides by cosine theta so sine over cosine equals tangent of theta okay and cosine divided by cosine is one but you can see over here that uh, we've got theta equals tangent inverse of y over x so let's go ahead and take the tan inverse of both sides tan inverse okay of the left side tangent inverse of the right side but what's tangent inverse of one well that's pi over four okay and so here the tan inverse and the tan those undo one another so we get theta equals pi over four now in this case we weren't able to get this in terms of like r in terms of something we just have the angle theta equals pi over four and if you know from plotting some of these points on your polar graph paper that you've been working with that the angle is pi over four so no matter what the radius is if the radius is one the angle is pi over four. If the radius is two, the angle is still pi over four. If the radius is three, it's pi over four. So you can see what we're getting here is this line on a 45 degree angle, which is the same as the line y equals x in rectangular form. So these are just two different ways of writing the equation for that same line. Okay, our last example, example number four, x equals two. Same idea, we're gonna replace x with what x equals, r cosine theta, okay? And then what we want to do is you want to get that r by itself so we're going to divide both sides by cosine of theta so we get r equals 2 over cosine theta and what's the reciprocal of cosine of theta 
Well, that's secant of theta, so we've got r equals 2 secant theta, and you've got it. So this was just kind of a quick whirlwind tour of how to do some of the translations or transformations from rectangular form to polar form. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring. And I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.